Erin here from the Science Off Center team at the St. Louis Science Center uh, with a special activity we can do this week in honor of the new dig site at the Science Center. Um, it's really fun, you can dig for fossils, so I figured we would make our own fossil. Uh, you'll need some plaster of Paris and uh, disposable everything you can because plaster of Paris is a pain to clean up. So, uh, newspaper, something you can throw away. I recommend using a paper cup, but I'm going to do it in a clear cup so that you can see it a little better. So for Plaster of Paris, they recommend about two parts Plaster of Paris to one part water. And there's directions on the container, of course, but we'll start with that. And we're going to mix it up here. The consistency doesn't have to be perfect, and you can do it with it more watery or less watery. Uh, you just don't want your shell that we're going to use for the fossil to sink all the way in. Since the uh, this is a little watery, I'll add a little bit more. Yeah. And then you can make your fossil. And you're going to set it face down into the plaster of Paris, but leave the edges out so that you can get the shell out again after it's hardened. Now that our plaster of Paris is all hard, we have to get the shell out. I recommend using something kind of hard, like keys work pretty well. And if you use a paper cup, you can actually rip the paper cup apart. But since we did the plastic for demonstrations, I'll try to get it out just like this. Nope. So you can cut into it. And by cutting around, you can get better leverage. You can get your keys or whatever you have closer in there. There we go. The shell is out, and what you're left with is a fossil, an imprint of the shell that will last a long time. 